Hello everyone. Um, this is a circuit that I had a, someone give me. Uh, it's uh, a circuit for a wood pellet stove and I guess this is the blower of it. Uh, so I'll have some uh, relays and some AC circuitry to control. So this is one side and this is the other side. So it has a seven segment display and uh, it's not working. So the, f uh, the fuse was blown and there could be a damaged part. So I was testing it out and I noticed most everything looks okay. There's nothing that looks burnt but I looked at this chip right here and it's a BTA12 and th what this is is uh, basically a uh, an AC uh, regulator switch and uh, we can test it. I went online to test it and basically to test it here's the data sheet you have uh, A1, A2 A and then the gate here these are connected to diodes so that's kind of the schematic where you have the gate here you have uh, A1 is a diode and A2 is a diode there. So to test it, there should be no uh, continuity between A1 and A2. So I'll show you that right here. So put your multimeter in diode mode. I'm just using the probes here. So according to the schematic, on the left hand side is A1 and the middle one's A2. So if I connect from here to here, I should have nothing. And you see I'm getting a short right there. It's a zero, zero. There, you can always test with the other um, IC that's already on the board. So, for example, there's this guy. And it's at the exact same chip. So if I put my two leads there, you see on the multimeter there, I am reading nothing nothing at all so there shouldn't be anything there so right away I know that this this chip probably has uh, something wrong or if that's not the problem it could be uh, another component that is connected in parallel with that uh, in between those two legs but that should not be a short right there so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to uh, desolder this chip and test it and if I desolder and test that and it's still short, I know that this is this is the bad chip and I need to replace it. So those legs are out right here. And I'll be testing the continuity. We still get a short. So on continuity mode, this pin and this pin, it's a short. You can clearly hear that. So to get this IC off, there is a rivet there on the sink, and it's on pretty good. You can see the back side of it. That's the other end of the rivet right there. Uh, to get that off, I'm just thinking, I'm just going to use a grinder. And I'll grind it right down. And then I'll just use a screw. I won't use a rivet again because that's, that's a pain to get off. And then I'll just put a screw on the new chip. Let's see if that works. So here's the IC that I got from DigiKey today. It's the... Um, BTA12 and it's for AC and it has a dash 600 so that's the, the voltage um, that it can uh, handle so okay so I've, I have it on continuity mode pins 1 and 2 will have an open so you can see that this is the one. 
and then one in three. You read about 67 ohms. Alright, two and three, it's open. So the other IC was a short between one and two, so it was, it was blown. And I will be installing that where the old one goes on to the board. So I have the, the chip there. And I'm just going to be putting some thermal paste underneath the pad because you can see that the whole circuit board, the PC, PCB, acts like a heat, heat sink. So, there. Okay. Should be good. like so and then we'll have to put a bolt again uh, if you have more you can go to nuisanceelectronics.com and scroll on over and check out my repair blog okay talk to you next time